I'm out here watering. It's like 8.30 at night and um, I keep meaning to make this video but I keep forgetting. So I'm going to do it right now. Um, something that I learned last year was that when you're growing, well, okay, I did it on my butternut squash. So th there's butternut squash trellis going up here and I picked all my butternut squash already. It was like 15, maybe 20 butternut squash. So normally in years past, I would just pull the vine when it's done and then make room for something new because I don't really like dead vines hanging around. Um, but last year, I didn't pull out the butternut squash all the way. I just cut it back and it started regrowing and it produced more fruit. So this year, I'm like, okay, I'm just going to let it go. So I picked all the fruit off the trellis and you can see there's new little baby ones starting in here. Some down there. So there's quite a few. Um, so I decided, okay, I'm going to do it with my watermelons and my pumpkins too. So watermelons, this is my moon and stars vine and just picked it but you can see the vine's still looking good so i'm gonna leave it and let it see we'll see what it does this was a random pumpkin that came up volunteer i already picked like eight pumpkins off of it and you can see now that i picked them there's new little baby ones growing so and at the ends it's like super green and flush like all the original growth is looking bad but then it turns out to be good and i have another pumpkin growing right there so obviously it works for pumpkins too and then my alibaba pumpkins are over here i mean watermelons are over here and i picked these first there's only two on this vine so i'm letting it be still watering it um because the vine's still looking good and just right now i'm out here and i noticed this little tiny baby watermelon so obviously it works for watermelons too so I filmed this video a few days ago and I haven't posted it yet and I just came out here to water and I realized that I actually have way more watermelons growing the second time around than I thought. The first one I showed you was, I don't know, about a week ago, um, was this little guy and that's how big he is now. They grow pretty fast. I just found this one right here, so I'm sure that one will ripen by the end of summer or at least before the weather starts to cool off. And then I found two more ones over here. Um, this one is the uh, White Wonder, which is cool that I'm getting another one because I only got one off of this vine originally. And it was like in the exact same spot, so it's weird. And then this is another one of the Alibabas. And it's weird because this Alibaba vine has three watermelons growing on it right now. And I had, I harvested three off of it. So I don't know if that's like a thing. Each, um, watermelon vine can only is like predetermined how many watermelons are gonna have I don't know this is my moon and stars watermelon which I haven't looked at I just picked the last one so I doubt there's any um, watermelons on it yet I don't see any but I'm sure if I looked harder maybe there'd be some baby ones starting but yeah we'll keep an eye on that one but just um, goes to show that this really does work if you harvest your fruit and then let the vines be, keep watering them, they will give you more fruit.